guys, today I'm going to show you what you can do with scrap fabric. If you're like me, you have a lot of small pieces of fabric lying around. The fabric you see now was actually left over from a larger project I did. And I really love this fabric. A lot of it has vintage 1930s reproduction designs on it, and I just think these designs are so, so cute. Today, we're going to use them to make a castle applique, which can also be used as a coaster or a mug rug. I'm gonna actually show you two versions of this castle pattern. The first one is the simplest one, and it only uses felt. So it's a really easy one to do. The second version is where we'll actually use the scrap fabric and little pieces of fabric will be poking out through the windows so it looks like little characters are inside the castle. It's so cute. So I started everything by just sketching out what I wanted the castle to look like. Since I'm making a PDF of this design for my website and my Etsy shop, I took it into Photoshop and cleaned it up, then I printed out the design. Next, I cut out the pieces. And this project is made with felt. I'm using wool felt blend, but you can use eco felt as well. I just like the feel of the wool blend felt a little more. Next, I applied a fusible web adhesive to the back of the felt. I used Wonder Under because it's one of my favorite brands. I added the pieces to the front side and used some packing tape to hold them in place. There's a lot of different ways that you can cut out felt and get those nice, sharp, crisp edges. This is just one of them, and it's my favorite method to use. This is really helpful when you're working with small pieces, especially for cutting out these really teeny tiny windows. Each of my castles has three colors, so I cut out all of the pieces. This blue one is meant to be a coaster, so I only used a plain pale yellow piece of felt for the background. I arranged the pieces onto the felt and then ironed them in place. A lot of times I use a piece of scrap fabric laid over the pieces I'm ironing. That way the Wonder Under doesn't get stuck to my iron and I don't have to spend a whole lot of time cleaning it. Next, I roughly cut around the edges of the castle. Then I hand sewed around the inside edges of the pieces to hold them in place. The last step was to add a piece of Wonder Under to the back of another piece of felt and iron the castle on top. And then I simply cut out the castle and hand sewed along the edges. And that completed the castle coaster. Now we're moving on to using these fabulous fabric scraps. I ironed a bunch of the pieces that had the designs I wanted onto some Wonder Under. Then I cut out the window pieces. This pink castle is vintage Alice in Wonderland themed. And I just kept going back and forth, arranging and positioning the pieces, and then once I liked what I saw, I ironed them in place. I really love the idea that we're looking inside this tiny magical castle, and we get to see characters doing things, just going about their daily lives. I also like that I get to utilize these 1930s reproduction fabric pieces in a way that showcases each pattern. Now, unlike the castle coaster, since the pink castle is meant to be an applique, I'm not going to add another piece of felt for the backing. This is because this castle can be sewn directly onto a pillow, a diaper bag, a purse. You could even add this onto a skirt or a sweater. 
The last castle I'm going to show you was actually the first one I made and you'll notice that I didn't sew along the edges at all on this one. And that's because I wanted it to have a very sharp cutout look because it's going to be placed in a picture frame and be a piece of wall art. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting for the frame to come in the mail, but I'll be sure to show you the finished project when it's done in a later video. Right now, I've been focusing my energy on creating and designing new items for my website and my Etsy shop. So if you get a chance, go ahead and head over to my store or my Etsy shop and check out some of the items I have listed. Okay guys, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what to do with some fabric scraps and I'll see you next time.